Thank you for joining the latest in a series of videos from Ari Capital Group. Now, I think one of the most exciting moments for any investor or any venture capital company like ourselves is when a portfolio company actually goes public via an IPO, an initial public offering. And uh, we were really pleased to see one of our portfolio companies, Scipia, formerly known as iSight, actually undergo uh, an IPO uh, late last year. And so to talk a little bit more about that and, and what that means for Ari Capital Group and also for our investors, uh, I'm joined by one of the founders of the Ari Capital Group, Stephen Margolis. So Stephen, perhaps we can just start by uh, you telling us a little bit about who Scipia is and, and what they do. Scipia is an Israeli tech company which specializes in facial recognition and AI. The company has developed something which we call DMS, a driver monitoring system, which is ensuring that as we come to autonomous driving, that the driver is not falling asleep and he is awake and alert inside, inside the vehicle. In the meanwhile, there are other applications for the technology, which is being sold to places like China monitoring bus drivers to make sure that they're not smoking whilst driving and wearing their seatbelt. So just take us back a little bit. How did you first uh, come into contact with Scipia and what were some of the motivations for getting involved with them in the first place? We have a pretty large network of offices and uh, connections and we were introduced to the company by one of our uh, people in on the ground in in Israel we were attracted I was attracted to the to the business because of the work that it was doing in the automotive space and it also had a usage uh, that it was developing in the in the domestic space and I was interested from an automotive point of view because once you get a piece of technology accepted um, in the automotive trade then it has a long tail it provides income for a long while. In the domestic uh, space, um, I was interested in the data play that, um, that it could provide. Yeah, I think you're really highlighting the value that we can get from having a global network of offices and from actually having people on the ground in various different countries around the world. I think it allows us the opportunity to see some great technologies and some startups that investors in the UK don't usually get to see. And I think also you're highlighting uh, one of the things that we love about Scipia, which is that they have this cool futuristic technology that everybody likes, but what real value they have as a company is they have the application of that technology to solve real world problems that exist. And, and I think that's, that's what's allowed them to blossom and, and, and grow in this way. Um, and so going back again to, to, to when you first invested, what's the relationship been like with Scipia since that point? How have you been involved in, in, in the growth and development of their business from, from the moment you first invested? Well, as with all of the companies that we invest in, um, I do get directly involved. I sat as a, as a main board member, actively following what they were helping shape their business model, and then given our Chinese uh, connections, helping them develop sales into, into China, so that uh, now a majority of their design wins come from um, major Chinese OEMs, which are essentially the suppliers to the car manufacturers in China. So as we mentioned, towards the end of 2021, Scipio went public. How have investors actually benefited from this IPO? So the benefit that the shareholders will have from the IPO on the Israeli stock exchange is that they will eventually be able to sell their shares if they want to. And hopefully a much increased value from the value at which they invested at. As is normal, though, there is a lockup period of nine months, which means they can't sell their shares for nine months. But then after that, um, then they are free to, to deal in the shares. And although the, the nine months may seem like a limitation, in actual fact, 
it gives the opportunity for other shareholders to or investors to come in and invest in the shares and drive up and drive up the value um, of the shares and therefore the company. So hopefully that when the nine months are up, the investors will be able to show a good profit. Great. Well, just looking forward to the coming year, what are some of the other things that Ari Capital Group has on the horizon that you're particularly excited about right now? In terms of our existing fund, we just, I sit on the board of another company where I've just signed the paperwork for them to do a deal in the US with a, with a, with a SPAC at a multiple of uh, six or seven times the value which we invested in. We then have uh, two other companies which are in the late stages of third party fundraising at uh, double or three times the value which we invested in. And then finally, we have um, another company has got some design wins with a major Chinese uh, laptop manufacturer, which um, demonstrates the, the acceptability of the technology that they are developing. And overall, we're, we're really pleased, pleased with the progress of the portfolio. And uh, it's, it's running at between two and three times in total value from what the, the original amount that we had to invest. Well, Stephen, thank you so much for giving us a little bit more information about Scipia and their recent IPO, which of course we're all very excited about. For anybody that would like to learn more about the Ari Capital Group and any of the other companies in our portfolio, as well as about our EIS Technology Fund for 2022, we will put the websites and contact information up right after this. And in the meantime, thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you soon.